And Bobby, you are right, I am being selfish. But the last time I checked, we don't have a whole lot of songs that feature the cowbell. I gotta have more cowbell, baby. Cowbell. And I'd be doing myself a disservice and every member of this band if I didn't perform the hell out of this. Guess what? I got a fever. <laughs> got a and the fever. only prescription is more cowbell. So awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Hop. That was really cool. I can remember, I don't know if you remember this, when that skit happened, this is how long ago that was, we used to tape, my wife and I used to tape Saturday Night Live on the VHS tapes, right? And I can remember, we, you and I, we worked at Avila. Ow. I had taped that, and I brought it into the office at Avila Beach in the golf shop. The cowbell? And we had cowbell. the TV, the little TV that had the VHS yeah. that built into it. And I remember all of us, we plugged in the TV, put the TV on my desk, and played that that cowbell skit. We must have played it five, six, seven times. <laughs> and we were just all dying, man. That was just one of the most iconic skits ever. Was that the week I got fired? No. <laughs> just kidding. You left. I never got fired. But I was watching cowbell. 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 <laughs> so, uh, Nikki's going to be calling us pretty any, soon any from the That's islands. 6 a.m. there, by the way. She's been out. I don't know what she's been doing over there for the last couple months. And um, coming home soon, but she's going to call. We're going to talk a little bit about the PGA uh, Championship at um, Bethpage Black. And uh, I thought it was, you know, it might have been boring for many people to watch because of the first two rounds was just so, you know, incredible. I mean, so much. Uh, and for some reason, this guy isn't getting the love I think he deserves. So I don't know if the ratings were low. Um, I was I, I didn't get to see Sunday that much because of uh, work, but. I did watch Saturday. Oh, you did have to, you had to work on that Sunday. Yeah, that was actually the only round that I was able to watch was Sunday. Oh. And the thing that the thing that was amazing to me, you know, I'm I'm feeling like, I, I don't know the, when I saw the last four holes, I felt like I was I was living it. Like I'm sitting there thinking, oh my gosh, how is he going to hit this tee shot on 17? How is he going to put that ball in the fairway perfectly? And he absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. threaded yeah. the needle and he went at it hard too that was just yeah crushed. it was just i saw, of course saw the highlight i didn't see it, yeah just crushed it so i'm thinking after he wins i'm thinking man this is such an amazing feat and i'm at i'm at work the next couple days do you see how kepka choked did you see how <laughs> man that. he really had a hard time he i'm like you guys don't you just don't get it you know, and it's it's amazing too because he had such a, he's played so well to build up so that could happen. Right. I mean, it's it's all just a total number at the end. He won by two, right? So right. It, it's a, just a total number. But it's it's for some reason, you know, there was people rooting for that for him to his, collapse. His back to back wins and his four majors were a lesser story than Tiger not making the cut. Yeah, yeah. It's a shame. It's a, and that, it's a shame because he's a really. Huh. Really good golfer, man. Yeah, I, yeah. It was, yeah. It was a, he. I mean, <laughs> after day one, I said he's got this. He's going to have it. Now it did get close, but still, I think uh, for the most part, he played uh, one of the most amazing rounds of golf that I've you know actually yeah. watched on TV in a while. I think part of it is the. And I've been thinking about this a lot since since it was over a week ago. I think part of it is the the average golfer who watches these tournaments has no idea. What a what an accomplishment that is! All they can look at is, oh, man, he had four bogeys in a row on the back nine, and he's not as good as people think. And <laughs> and it's just, it's just because they have no clue. They have no clue, especially that he won. He's wire to wire. He's a wire to wire winner. Oh, and set a couple records in the meantime. He yeah, thirty six hole record blew ever blew the record away before. I mean, he is, and and lapping the field almost literally. Right. right, right, and and playing alongside Tiger the first two days, and Tiger was finally in awe of someone else, and he even said, "Oh my God, and this is what it was like when people were watching me." Right, so he was like in awe, and so this guy, I think, is you know, it, it, the best thing is he shut Chambly up. <laughs> well, right? and, and when you stop and think about it, when, when I'm watching the last round, the last couple holes, it was amazing Phones that Justin, in that, Hawaii. it was amazing, that? yeah, it was amazing that Dustin Johnson got even got into that position. I know. That's, not, that's why he like number snuck one or two up out of nowhere. So, so, are they still using coconut phones in Hawaii? Do you know? Someone blending coffee. Is there is there a coconut shell phone being used? Hello, <laughs> Nikki. She doesn't like being ignored. Nikki. Nikki? <laughs> I 
I think she's scuba diving. What do you think she's doing? Hey. What, what are you doing? What are you doing, Nikki? Are you juggling? You sound like your phone's in your pocket. Are you underwater? Are you washing dishes and the Brillo pads going oh over the gosh. phone? Are you picking no, coconuts? I was, <laughs> what? Are you I was trying to un, I uh-huh. was trying to unravel my my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> we we could, yeah that was that was on the list of things we thought it might be. Are oh, you, that's funny. Are you, okay. should, should we right. wait? We can go ahead and finish. We'll wait. No, I we'll, we'll listen. <laughs> yeah, we'll just listen in. Do you have one of those old phones in Hawaii that has the cord attached to it? Yeah, is this those it? big long thing that stretches across yeah. the kitchen? The, no, it was my headphone uh-huh. cord that I was trying. I had plugged it in, but then when I tried to put my ear pods in, <laughs> they were all tangled. <laughs> yeah, we noticed. It was, it, <laughs> it's forever recorded. Yep. Well, it's nice to... Uh, hi, guys. Aloha. Hi. How are you? Aloha. Aloha. So what you doing up so early? Besides oh untangling God. your phone. <laughs> it, do- <laughs> it does feel early. Isn't it? Uh, I'm I'm watching to see when the sun's going to come up. It's still dark? <laughs> the sun hasn't no, come up yet? Dark. It's light here it's early. Dark, 5.30 but... was yeah. light. Yeah. <laughs> so but how are you? What's going on in your world? We miss you. I miss you guys. I do. I do so much. What are you doing there? Um, we come. We come home um, on Wednesday. Yay! Oh wow, cool. You had yeah. an you had an anniversary yeah. recently. I did have an anniversary recently. That's right. Happy anniversary! You yeah. got a new phone. Did you get a new phone? Yeah. You need new new. You got to get those cordless little earpod things. Yeah. For your anniversary, <laughs> they're a lot quieter. I obviously do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you, oh, that was such bad timing. I couldn't believe what bad timing that was. <laughs> Poor Hop. He's checking the board. He thought there was some kind of mistake going on. And Mike's over here flipping buttons. He thought there was we had a you know some kind of a emergency crack up going on here. <laughs> um, are you golfing at all? Uh, I've golfed uh, twice this week. Wow, that's, um, that's but I haven't golfed as much as you know. I, I used to golf a lot more. It seems like, but well, what's I haven't happening? Been as much. What What are you focused on over there? You're on the islands. I've been wor- I've been working actually. I have a deal going, and uh, I have I'm showing property later today to someone else who wants to buy a condo. Wow! So I've been actually, yeah, doing real estate. It's pretty exciting. That is exciting. Pretty it exciting. is. So yeah. Do you wear your yeah. earphones when you're like when you're walking through a house when you're selling? Do you have those things in your ears, or you do you try to keep them out? Obviously, obviously not. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I couldn't believe they were that tangled. So is this? Tell us about this condo. Eighteen hundred square feet, two and a half baths, two bedrooms. Oh, the one. Yeah. No, not the condos around here are never that big. Very rarely, they're, they're a lot smaller. But this one that I'm showing today is oceanfront. Like what, right out your entire window is totally ocean. You're right on the the ocean. Is there a road between? Um, the, is there a road between? There are windows and the ocean. Is there, a, is there a street right out front? Oh, God, no. No? Wow. <laughs> no, you're literally right on the ocean. You look out the window and you see the whole view is the ocean and the islands across the channel and everything. It's gorgeous. 1.1 million. <clears throat> I'm going to go 850,000. 1.1 million. How much? No. Hop, what do you no, think? No. Hop, no. Well, don't tell us yet. Hop's, um, hop's betting in. Well, you, we got a no-no, so I think we're all both high. You think we're low? Yeah, uh-huh. you're both high. It, both it's high. only a one bedroom, one bath. Oh, oh see, I see, didn't we take thought, that. Yeah, tell us that. Yeah. Hop, we'll let Hop get the first bid. Go ahead, Hop. Uh, six fifty. Mike. One bedroom, one bath. Is it, is it over a thousand square feet, or is it nine hundred and change? No, no, it is under a thousand square under feet. Thousand. Under a thousand. One floor. <clears throat> you got to be talking. It's, uh, on the, it's on the third floor. Third floor. It's, okay. It's single level. Three 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 ninety five. Little balcony. Is there, a bal- uh, is there a balcony? Yes. Th- yeah, there's definitely a lanai, yes. Four, yes. 465. 395. 750. Wow, Hop wins again. 750. I should have stayed with my original. You were right there. She went, oh, Price. no, no, no. Yeah, you were closer. Wow. Well, I well ho- you were saying a million and a half. No, I said no, nine. No, I said one million. I said 1.1. 1. 1. I didn't I, say I was million. nine. I was a nine. I was closer. You were closer. Yeah. For not even 1,000 square feet. That's insane. Yeah. Is there an elevator? Yeah. <laughs> okay. That helps. Did bit. I miss it? Is 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 Nikki selling? Yes. 
Well, yeah. she's repping. I'll have to text you. I'll text you a picture of the view later. This isn't your condo. This is you're just selling for the, the seller. Yeah, this is one I'm showing. Showing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, we... <laughs> yeah. How close to a golf course? Because we have to tie everything to golf. How close is the closest golf course? Well, you know, it's it, uh, uh, walking distance, really, if you'd like to walk. Well, so is Chicago from here. But it's, <laughs> but it, 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 it's probably uh, 10 minutes okay. to... Ten minutes to three different golf courses. Can That's you own your bad. old golf cart there and drive to one of those courses? Ooh. No, like, no, oh. you can't. Oh, See, I, I like that. I should. I, I'd, I'd go under bid then. I'd go seven ninety five. I like. I like that. So, so, three courses within ten minutes. Third floor. Tile. Tile. Um, we got kind of granite count, countertops. Are they granite? Yes. Wood floors yes. or carpeted? Uh, tile. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So moving on, what, do you, what, what what are your thoughts on Kepka? Why doesn't he get any respect? Yeah. With no respect for the Kepka. You know, Come on. that's a really good question. Um, Puzzling one. Yeah. He, he's a quiet guy in a lot of ways, you know? Uh, so was Ben Hogan. He, do- he didn't get much he respect either. Say, <laughs> yeah, he doesn't say a lot. I, that's a really good question. Why he doesn't? I think it's hilarious the whole Brandel Chambly thing with the clown nose. Yeah, well, that's uh, <laughs> Brandel. I got to tell you, Brandel did. He did. Uh, you know, he he, he kind of he, he got humbled. Yeah. He got humbled and admitted it, and he backed away and yeah. kind of gave him the praise he yeah. so deserved. Good, but uh, yeah, but it's still like Mike said. You know, that we were watching it how great it was, and then he had those four bogeys in a row, and then and people rooting for him to to, to choke and say he's choking. And he wins, I don't you know, understand And I don't that. get that. It's yeah, like, what, why is he an enemy? <laughs> no, and I had, Nikki, I was saying there were people at the golf course a couple days later that were saying, they're not even talking about the fact he won. They're talking about how he choked coming down, the, you know, letting Dustin back in. He had four bogeys in a row. He had this. And I'm thinking, you know, under that pressure. And that golf course is And that hard. golf course is insanely hard. And then, like I said, to Bill, yeah, watching him yeah. hit that tee shot on 17 was, <laughs> oh, my God, I can still see it. It was so great. That was as straight and as perfect as you and could possibly get. No I mean, tension was, either, no. which was great, because if you had any tension, it's a d- deep rough in here. Yeah, but. it was phenomenal, man. Absolutely amazing. You know, he said in his press conference, I know you all heard it, that he doesn't remember him making four bogeys in a row. He says, I don't remember last time I did that. If I ever did that, he said, I'm sure I did. I just don't remember doing that. Yeah. So that's how, how good are those guys. Yeah. You know, make four bogeys in a row. That's it's a, amazing it's a, how good those guys are. They, they took that. I, I think the other thing about Kepka is that he, um, some people might feel that he comes off a little arrogant the way he says things. I don't think that he is. I just think that, that it can be perceived that way. You know what he is? He's matter of fact. And but an arrogance <laughs> it could be a compliment. I mean, he's confident. He's a really confident guy. But and he's that, a matter of can, fact. You can guy. assume that's kind of arrogant, being right. confident. He yeah. b- believes in yeah, himself. Exactly. You have to. you got to believe in yourself. Well, and his comments prior to the tournament are like, you know, I sent, I sent Nikki a little meme on Kepka where it's like he just goes, suck it up. It's not going to be easy. He says that before the tournament. You know, when he talks about people complaining and stuff like that, he just said, suck it up, deal with it. It's part of golf. Yeah. It is golf when you struggle. That's what it is. So well, suck it up, deal with it. I saying that majors are easier to win than other yeah. tournaments because half the field beats themselves mentally. Right. They're just you know, overprepared. That was the same kind of crazy. So right. It's half the field's gone as it is. And see, of that. a lot of people would take that comment as being arrogant and full of yourself. Yeah. And I think what it is, it's just realizing what it is in the moment and, and, Taking it for what it is, you're understanding. Yeah. yeah, you're understanding the situation you're playing in. So if you understand the situation and what you have in front of you, it's it's easier to to accomplish what you want and to accomplish. Probably one of the most arrogant players that's ever played is the best one of the best players that ever played is Tiger. Yeah, and everybody but Tiger loved Tiger, but man, he was he wouldn't give anybody his attention, and he just right. you know, I'm, he was flat out I'm gonna beat you. Right, right. I mean that's that's just confident, and he proved and he backed it up. Well, Kepka's doing the same thing, he, right. and it's you could if you could talk the talk and walk the walk, that's what he's doing. Yeah, definitely. And it's dangerous to talk the talk and not be able to pull it off. Then you got you know a Patrick Reed thing. Remember Patrick Reed, oh, the top yeah. five players in the world, uh, this and that. I could, and and he couldn't back it up. Yeah, right. And that just you know that got him his reputation. It was one of the things. And if Kepka was just you know if he didn't do what he did, he would be saying you know them know. They, they, but now they have no reason but to re- re- um, re- respect him, right? I mean, he's proven. I think yeah, he's amazing. I, I, How great I is this guy? I think with Patrick Reed, 
it, it's not so much what he does, it's how he says it. You know, even if he had won the way he said he was going to, it was still annoying <laughs> the way he came out and said that. And yeah, but, I think that's part of Kepka, but I think it's more of a misread with Kepka yeah. than that's the way he really is. Well, if Reed would have won, would it have been a misread? No pun intended. I mean, he said that I'm not, I'm, <laughs> but he's, I mean, it's just, I think you have to back up what you say. And, and, and when Nicholas yeah. played in his prime, everybody looked at the board, where's Nicholas? I've got, you know, he shows up, oh no, there's one guy we got to beat. And that happened for 15 years when Tiger first came on. Where's Tiger? See in the field that we got to beat this guy. And I think now you're going to be seeing this. This guy deserves that kind of credit. And he's not. Oh, yeah. He, he really does. does, man. He's probably the favorite at the Open. I don't know who it is, who he, but I'm telling you, that guy can play some golf and proven it. And it's, it's easy to second chair arm, you know, what do they call it? Second chair arm. armchair quarterback. Yeah, it's easy to, because after the fact, it's so easy to talk about it. But got to now. Facts are facts, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, no doubt. Four, about four it. majors in his last eight, 50%. How good is that? It's absolutely the, amazing. The, the thing that's interesting about Kepka, from my perspective, is I think that in a lot of tournaments, he gets bored. Like, I walked with him at the Century Tournament of Champions, and um, when he, it, like, if he's playing with someone who he feels is playing slow, or if he's just, he, he starts playing around. Like, he was trying to hit Bubba Watson before he got out of the range. You know, I mean, not hit him, hit him, but get close, you know, scare him. And he's just, he wasn't really, he was bored. It, it was like he was bored. Well, he was, and he wasn't in contention. He wants to, yeah. So that, that could be it. Did you see him on Faraday? Did you guys I see didn't, him? I didn't get a chance uh, to see that. He's a whole other person. He was the nicest guy, smart, yeah. funny. I mean, it's you know, inside the ropes. He's close. Yeah. He wants to. Well, he gets into the, using he gets the, in the tiger moment. name. He gets, yeah. he gets into this tiger. He's in the moment. He's in one the, thing he's at a time. Focused. Don't care about anything else. But he's going to hit the right. shot. But I mean, he was talking with Faraday. Well, you should. You know, it must be on podcast or whatever. You can find that episode. Right. It was really good, and he was funny and light, and so was um, Deschambeau. I mean, yeah. there were two different people. Right. And on, on you know, he was sitting at his house, and they're talking and. And uh, a lot of respect for him outside the court. I mean, and the one thing is, he, it's stuff that brushes off his shoulders. It seems to fire him up. Yeah. So, Nikki, can you hold tight while we take a break? Sure. Okay. So we're going to take our first break of the second hour. Uh, Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy brought to you by McGalley Health Group. Looking to live better, eat better, get a, lo- a healthy lifestyle. Contact Ryan McGalley, 805-461-8822. That's 805-461-8822. HealthySlowCounty.com. Don't forget, uh, Mr. McGowey and the Health Group also have uh, golf, sponsored us with golf balls that we give away for trivia. Emails that you send us, you can send us at uh, mike at golftalkradio.com or Billy Gibbs at pga.com. And we'll be right back with uh, the U.S. Open odds for 2019 and our DraftKings results from the PGA Championship. Golf Talk Radio with Mike and Billy. Be right back. <laughs> 